What is up, YouTube? It is your boy Jad here from Puma Plow playing some more Farming Simulator 22. We're back at Westbridge Hills. Let's get to it. Hello? Hello? What up? Why are you rambling? I, dude, I, I'm really good at it. I don't know. <laughs> just, it kind of just happens naturally, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I just, sometimes I wish I would just shut up. That guy on the stream just needs to stop talking. Oh, wait, it's me. I'm the guy that needs to stop talking. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. All right, so I'm bringing the plow down for, for later considerations, okay? Watson Boy just think... resubscribed for 38 months. You think what? I think I know what you're going to be doing. What are you going to plow? I'm going to plow that hayfield. Watson Boy just resubscribed for That's... 38 months. Watson resubscribed twice for 38 months. Uh, thank you, Watson. Appreciate it. We're going to plow that field so the precision number gets better. And then plant it right back in grass. That's my theory. A tub grinder was released in the mod hub and can cut sugar beets. Interesting. Your level 60. Oh my goodness. That's a lot of GTA in three days. Uh, the business is how you make money in GTA. Get a motorcycle club and buy some businesses. Yeah. At least that's what I would do. Now there's that's an interesting way to look at it. There, uh, Radio Reaper. Thanks for the uh, happy birthday. Appreciate it, man. All right. Are you are you Ted? Are you Working doing? on it. You need another chatter? Or you need to grab Baylor. Uh, Probably grab Baylor. Really yeah, I'm just gonna start bailing. All right. There's some like it. loose grass on the outside that's actually in the long grass that needs to be picked up. That's kind of bothering me. Okay, I found a rogue bale today too. Uh, it's been there for a while. <laughs> on the end of the small field. That's where I found them. Uh, where where did you go? Uh, I started in the. Uh... Oh, okay, over there. Got it. Field I want to plow. We'll plow these fields together too. Been needed done for uh, a few weeks now. Yeah, well, I'm 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 gonna make it happen today. Okay. As long as you don't get sidetracked. Tracy, we'll catch you later. Do what? As long as you don't get sidetracked. I mean, I might. Hey, look at that. there's something shiny up there. Yeah, over there. Wait. It happens. Tracy, we'll catch you later. Have a good one. Thanks for uh, saying hi. All right, so chat, if you guys weren't here Thursday, y'all may not know, but this 2 plus 2 will pull the world now. It uh, has been modified. It still technically has 200. Oh, hello. Um, This baler. This, these balers need an update, in my opinion. Maybe it's just me. Uh, it still has 235 horsepower, but uh, it'll pull the world. So, yeah. Thanks for that follow. Appreciate you. Welcome in. How's it going? The reason I say the Baylors need an update, by the way, is the pickup header. If you get on slightly uneven ground, actually folds under the Baylor. And then it's just a nightmare because it lifts the hitch off the ground. And, well, you're just kind of done after that. Wyoming, what's up? How's it going? Wyoming cowboy, that is. I don't think. I guess I did mow this far out. Somebody did. I, I did on the mow earlier. I had a busy afternoon. I played Captain of Industry, and then I played DTA, and then I jumped in farm stuff. Busy afternoon, okay. The same. Very busy. Need a bigger freezer. What, do you have a bunch of popsicles or something? I don't know. What do you have in your freezer? Maybe we don't want to know. Like, a, never mind. I don't think I want to know. Where's that grass outside the thing you were talking about? It's like another baller down. Oh, really? Yeah. Gee, I wonder who mowed down there. <clears throat> Sarge. 
<laughs> you said it. <laughs> For the record, if he comes I'm looking. <laughs> definitely Sarge. I'll go on the record. I don't care. He knows it's true. But this bail was not here earlier. You must have hooked it, huh? Yeah, that was on the way. I had to move it. Yeet. Yeah, never to be seen again, chat. Never again. It gone. That's okay. We'll find it back later. Oh, it's kind of in a bush too now. Oh no. Oh no, we have a bush bale. Unfortunate chat. We will never pick that bale up. The rest of the time we play this map. Plenty will get moved 18 times before we get picked. Ah. Wait. You're cleaning out a freezer in your home. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. All right. Well, I mean, uh, uh, you know, places have freezers, right? Uh, Moffix, thank you. I appreciate it. How's it going? Should I put that on my soundboard tonight? She's like, hey, thanks. I feel like I should. Have your voice at the end of the night. <laughs> appreciate it. You know, push the button every time. <laughs> oh, goodness me. Run out of space, you're going to hijack. I got a freezer in my basement that's not plugged in. I mean, it works perfect. We just decided to get rid of all the stuff that was like 10 years old that was in there. So, yeah. So, I mean, why? I mean, you want to come, like, you know, drive to Missouri, you know. Just saying. Yeah, I'm not allowed to. Gotcha. Gotcha. We always had a, uh, we as in mostly my mother, but family in general, just a, an unhealthy relationship with freezers. As weird as that might sound. It's the put stuff in a freezer and never see it again for 10 years, you know. That's usually the way it goes around here, so. A lot of waste and it's it's very unfortunate honestly very very unfortunate very wasteful but it's one of those things that kind of is what it is i guess i don't know it's six six feet dang is this all from like the white 2k days uh wyoming by all means, you don't even know what I'm talking about, probably, so. Never mind. If you know, you know, chat. Just saying. You know, you know. Good old Y2K. Everybody thought everything was gonna end. I mean, that might be tomorrow with the Chinese rocket that's gonna crash, you know? Same. Because if y'all didn't know, there's another one now. There's a second Chinese rocket out of control and going to crash. Possibly into the United States this time. So that's fun. So Chinese rocket debris will have to revise his name to be like, you know, Chinese rocket debris V2. Here on Twitch. Or something like that. Kind of funny, but not all at the same time. Yeah. All right, so yeah, we're gonna get some bale and done chat. I'm gonna we're gonna pick this field up. We're not gonna fertilize this or anything right away. We're actually gonna plow it. Uh, according to our precision, it needs till or like our tillage is messed up on it, and it's been that way since like we put it into into hay. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna plow it and then put it right back into hay. So that's my theory in life. 
So yeah. But to get old two plus two. Doing a doing uh doing this job here, chat. I am. It is the one. Oh yeah. You know what Y2K is, really? There's probably people watching that don't know what Y2K is. I wonder if Trent knows. Trent's kind of younger. I bet Tony doesn't know. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Roxy, you know what it is? The question is, though, did you learn about it like in a history book? I lived it. Just saying. Showing my age, but I remember it. I remember going outside that day, New Year's Eve. Okay? New Year's Eve, going outside and filling up uh, trash cans with our garden hose. It wasn't very cold. It was kind of kind of warm. Grandparents? Okay. Grandparents, I got you. Uh, but mom, mom was adamant that, like, our water was going to turn off. So I went outside and filled up a bunch of trash cans with water. And the thought was we could use a bucket to at least flush our toilet, you know? So, I, I remember that. I remember those days. Yeah. Got you, Wyoming. Gotcha. Uh, thanks for the birthday wish again, uh, Muffix. I, I don't know what you said there in the first part of that comic, because I don't speak that, but thanks for uh, putting some of that in English for me. Just saying. Yo, Chase Jake, what's going on, man? Thank you so much. Appreciate it. How are you? No rain today, Pango. No rain today. It was uh, pretty nice out today, I believe. I don't know. I didn't really do anything outside today. It looked nice. Let's put it that way. It looked nice. So Chase Jake, farm sim in VR or no? Chase Jake's the VR guy. We gotta talk VR when he's here. <laughs> Just saying. Uh, what is it? 80 degrees outside right now. Our next shot of rain is kind of Saturday, but better shot on Sunday. So, I will say there were tons of stories last night of water rescues and stuff over in St. Louis after that afternoon storm that we had yesterday. It really hit St. Louis hard. Really, really hit St. Louis hard. So, yeah. You would play it if it had VR support. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. I mean, that is a full freezer, by the way. Looks like a full freezer. Oh, man. All right. Missed, missed opportunity. If that's their only missed opportunity, they're doing well. How about that? There, there's a few other ones they're kind of missing out on here. But yeah. I don't know why I missed the spot there, but it totally did. Not sure what's going on in there, chat. We'll fix it. We'll get it. Sort of Russian text. I got you. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't understand that. I barely understand English the way it is. Just saying. Yeah. We got about a oh, we got about a foot before Tesla the top. Okay, I got you, well, man. GTA and Red Dead Redemption in VR. Yeah, interesting. Does Flight Sim have VR? I feel like Flight Sim would be kind of sick in VR. Just saying. 
VR is one of those things that's like, I've always kind of wanted it, but like, I kind of feel like I would want to vomit if I put one of those things on for very long, you know? I don't, I don't know that like, I don't think I would like it, honestly. I've never tried VR. I'd be down to try it. I just don't want to buy it, you know? Can I like rent a VR from somewhere for like a week? Gotcha. Oh, it has native. That'd be pretty sick. You'll grow VR lights. Next thing you know, I'm over here, like in the in Beat Saber, you know, like streamers do the way they put themselves in there, you know? Uh, you're sorry, your English is bad. You're fine. Your English is good. So far, all good. <laughs> VR legs, I like it. I like it. You bought, wow, 2017. Wow. That's crazy, Chase Jake. Crazy. Gotcha. I mean, the, the current way my setup is, there wouldn't really be room for, like, VR, but, like, I put my desk back where it used to be. And if I... I'm, I'm talking about, like, actually making this room a little bigger uh, this fall. There might be room for, like, actual VR in here, but I just don't think I would do it, honestly. Really don't think I would. I got enough wires over at the PC setup. I don't need any more. If for no other reason, I have enough wires already. Fisher Chris, hello and thank you. Appreciate it. How are you? Too many wires already, so I'm uh, I'm good as far as the wire count, you know. Just saying. But that's all right. That's okay. Just don't look at them and they're not there, right? They're behind my right monitor. I can't see them. That's how it works. I'm back. Welcome back, Trent. Back. You wonder what time it is in America. It is currently 6.31 p.m. on uh, the 29th, which is Friday. What time it is here? 60. Peter Power, what's just get at it, boys? Uh, that Trent, thank you. Bets. Am I turning 21 today? Uh, yeah, something like that, Fisher Chris. Yeah. I'm not going to tell you how many times I've turned 21, but yeah. 60. Really left. Really? <laughs> I'm not that oh, old, yeah. bro. Ah. I did very well. <laughs> Let me go shave. I'll look 12 again, all right? Or wait, what's Twitch to us? Have a look that hold at least. Saying. It's 13. Okay, I'll leave a little stubble. I'll be good. <laughs> I shave completely down. I'm like 10 years old again, so I got. I'll leave a little stubble. I'll be good. Goodness. Trent, do you know what Y2K is? Hello, Trent. Hold on. Are you? Don't Google you it. You can't Google it. You can't Google it. <laughs> Hold on, he says. You're over here Googling. Yeah. Like, You're gonna... long enough. <laughs> Is it 15 times I've turned 21? You're going to make me do math right now, Fisher Chris? Something like that. Close enough. Close enough. Windows 2000. What? 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 Yeah, you don't know what it is. Okay. The dictionary link didn't work. <laughs> Can't look it up. It's cheating. <laughs> <sighs> Rox, that's rude. 
Uh, first off, uh, I haven't been to a doctor since I was like 18. Joke's on you. Uh, Big E, I know I'm not using GPS. This field doesn't really require it. When I get over yonder, I'll use GPS over there. But this field, I don't feel like I really need it. It's kind of an awkward, uh, awkward little, little field. So no GPS over here. Yeah. Um, uh, obviously we'll catch you later. Have a good one. Trent, what do you know about this Chinese rocket that's coming to get us tomorrow? I don't know. It's not American, so I don't know. Well, it's, it's Chinese rocket debris 2.0 coming to get us t possibly tomorrow. Like, or no, it is, it is coming down tomorrow to like, give or take a couple hours still. And a couple of the paths actually do take it over the United States during the, the window. So... Luckily, it's like it's like northern Missouri or southern Missouri, not close to me. So, although of course I wouldn't want it to hit land anywhere, obviously, except for maybe like out in the middle of a desert or something, that'd be kind of sick. And then the conspiracies would start that it's aliens again, right? It's always aliens. I mean, hello. Uh, they saw the picture of the James Webb are from the James Webb on Twitter and they're like, bro, we got to go like, you know, put a stop to that. And they take me, uh, take me with them when they go back home. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, do a vacation. Vacation. The real <laughs> question is, does alien spacecraft have windows? I never thought about that. Um, I mean, they probably like to look out in space and like, you know, see stuff go by right maybe i don't know how that works actually now that i think <laughs> wow i don't know and boy thank you and hello how are you welcome in uh chemist cam i'm doing well how are you what's up what's a hose jockey You've oh. not wanted a Baha blast. Trent, Trent you're such a cheater. X100. What does W2K stand for? Two zero plus two Windows 2000. A shorthand way to refer to Windows 2000, an operating system released by Microsoft in 1999. You know what's funny? Used in computing forums. <laughs> That's not right at all, Trent. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about Y2K, as in <laughs> the the year 2000 everybody thought the computer systems were gonna fail because they didn't have 2000 you know like ah, it's a whole thing trent i mean basically everybody panicked and like everybody thought the world was gonna end and stuff Plus, I, how would i know that if i was i was just asking I, if you knew what it was because like other people that are younger know what it is they like grandparents or parents told them about it That's great. That's great. Uh, anyway, Trent, appreciate the bits. Thanks for the random TTS as well. That was great. Uh, Richard, you were there. I was there too. Yeah. It's actually, a, um, and I hope you were there left. You're older than I am. A hose jockey because of the new hose update. Okay. Yeah. Fair play. Fair play. Okay. Yep. Pumps and hoses. I'm very excited for it. Actually, yesterday, chat on stream, they're having some tech issues with the server thing, and so we actually watched some like drag line videos with the with the hose manure hose. I'm even more excited now. Just saying, fire shadow. I did too. High five. Yeah. Basically, everybody just thought that as soon as it hit midnight, every system was going to shut down. There wouldn't be gas at gas stations. There wouldn't be water treatment plants that were going to shut down. Um, just everything was going to fail is, is what the fear was. So some people, <laughs> cough, cough, my mother, uh, started prepping for it probably six months or a year in advance because it was something where everybody's like, hey, this is going to be a thing. Could be a thing, I should say. 
And so, like, we had shelves in our basement that were stocked with canned food, and we had, like I said earlier, I filled up a bunch of trash cans full of water in our backyard so we could at least flush our toilet that day, or for potentially a couple days. Like, it was kind of a, a weird time, I'm not going to lie. It really was, but everybody was in fear, like, the power grid was going to shut down, and nothing happened, for the record. Everything just went on. Just like it was the day before. So. Absolutely nothing changed. So, yeah. Uh, Joe, I asked her what's going on, man. How are you? Can we give a shout out to all the uh, all the people that are here from a Ghost in the Sims stream? <laughs> Say that for a second. Bunch of y'all. Thanks, chat. Thanks for being here. Scam. Oh, it would reset. Yeah, it was a whole thing. They thought computers would too. Yeah. Yeah, it was a. Uh, it was a whole thing, man. It was kind of funny though. We were. Yeah, we were Joe a little bit. Trent doesn't know what it is, so we were we were educating Trent. Uh, thanks yeah, for the. I never, I never asked him. Stay on the farm, play video games. That's about it. Yeah. Thanks for the file. Appreciate you. Welcome in. How's it going? No, Joe. Joe. Joe, that's not what I mean. What I mean is like you're here from her stream at one point in time. Fisher Chris is here. Chase Jake's here. Like the people that came from her community, you know what I'm saying? At least I'm pretty sure all of you like knew who she was before me. That's what I'm saying. No, she was definitely not streaming. No, she's got stuff going on. Obviously, you guys know. But yeah. Uh, yeah Laura, a little update in this Laura Barbara, hello and welcome in. Thank you. Yeah, that's what I mean, Joe. Like, yeah. Your grand, your grandparents tried to teach you how to churn churn butter. Because when the world ends, we need butter, right? That's what we need. Oh man! Oh, we checked with the boss. You're right, Joe. I remember that. I actually remember that night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, I do. I do remember that. Sorry, just your chat. Charge. Evening. That Steam notification rats you out every time. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? Ah, going good. Like butter was going to become a hot commodity. There's this uh, chick that I've seen on TikTok, and I know this is totally a left field story. It has to do with butter. She'll make like some weird statement in a video, and like obviously it's a joke, and then she'll just take, take a bite out of a stick of butter. Have y'all seen her? Hilarious and kind of random. ICK version of Bitcoin butter. <laughs> I mean, you never know. But that was the fear that like we were going to go back to the 1800s overnight. Like, boom, this is it. That's that really was kind of the fear. Yeah, the whole Y2K days, Sarge. Remember those? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or raw butter I mean it's just funny I don't know it's like her shtick you know yeah Charlie thank you Mr. Plugger hello sir how are you just so you know Plugger 2 plus 2 pulls a bailer like a dream although it, no I don't think it would have pulled it before actually I think this baler takes some horsepower. 250. It would have been close. I have 235 is what this tractor used to used to could have. I could have a lot more now, so that's okay. That is okay. Sarge, so you ready for some Fortnite later? Sure, why not? I actually didn't check to make sure mine was up to date, but I played last night, so it should be, right? 
right? Maybe? Mine sh yeah, should be. I mean, last night, so. Mine should be. Yeah. Uh, Their launcher's open. <laughs> And I think I do have uh, auto update. Oh, okay. I got you. That DCS game, I've looked at that. That game's uh, interesting. I've watched uh, I've watched somebody stream some of it. It's, uh, it's an interesting game. Boy, I uh, I fired up GTA earlier for a few minutes, and I was like, I'm gonna source some material for my hangar. Isn't that fun? Well, Buddy said, you know, go to the plane that I sourced you, which I was at the arcade, so I'm assuming the plane was at the hangar that he sourced, right? It's right outside, yeah, on the airfield. So I just went to the thing because I had my little green helicopter. I had to shoot down uh, cargo planes and jets. That was really fun in my little helicopter. <laughs> I'm just saying. It's awesome, but not easy to get into. Okay. Oh, you got to I got you. Okay. And yeah, that was uh, kind of terrifying, actually. I was like, I'm going to fail. I'm going to get shot down by jets. I didn't even think my little helicopter could fly that high. Or did, though. I was really happy I had unlimited rockets. Let's put it that way. Because I Helps. use a lot. That was fun though. I don't think I've ever sold it. Uh, like, I've never had enough material in the hangar to sell. So it's kind of a, like a goal of mine. So, yeah. But I need a jet next time I do that. I think I've only sold out of the hangar twice. Okay, it's really easy with the plane it gives you. Yeah, probably very small. That was in my little green helicopter from my uh, sub. Not easy. It was fun though, but I think my air my A button's probably half wore out now on my controller. I'm mashing it. I'm saying. Oh, the A's come up. Oh, I got you. Flying games are fun to me, like say Microsoft Flight Sim, it's fun, but I get bored really fast. Mostly in Flight Sim what I want to do is like fly around places that I know. And then, like, you know, put a 737 through the arch. Or, or something like that. A 747 through the arch, you know? And then I'm just kind of like, okay, I'm done. That's why I don't stream the game anymore. Because, like, flying from point A to point B, and it's like, you know, a multi-hour real flight, is just, it's, it's just kind of boring. My opinion, of course. But jumping in with the boys and playing with with some of the jets, that's kind of sick. Not going to lie. Bill and I were doing the, like, one person flies upside down, the other person flies above them thing. That was fun. Yeah. FS economy. I have seen that actually look like career mode for flight sim, yeah. Uh, Charlie, we are on Westbridge Hills, yes. We sure are. You sourced for five hours last night and only have 22 points to go. I think that would be fun, though, because I enjoy the flying. The sourcing for the hangar. I'm assuming you have to fly for all those, right? Oh. Fly and drive. Uh. Yeah. There might be one or two you have to drive. Okay. But I, I enjoy flying so much in GTA that I, I need to do more of that stuff. That's what I'm getting at. Yeah, that's what I used yeah. to do when I play that is do all the hangar and only hangar. Yeah. Mostly fly. Okay. True. Yeah. I will say with uh, Flight Sim, when it came out, uh, there were a couple of us that played it. Like we went to the pyramids and we went to like the Sydney Opera House and the Sydney Harbor and we tried to find the Great Wall of China and couldn't find it. You know, we went to Mount Rushmore looks which at the time looked really bad. Hangers hard to do yourself. Well, I know somebody that likes flying in GTA. 
I know somebody who just bought a, a really, really nice helicopter in GTA. <laughs> yeah. Might, might be Sarge. <laughs> really nice. Farmer Nick, what's up? Grandpa. Yo, speaking of Grandpa, he sent me a snap earlier wishing me happy birthday, which was very nice of him. Buddy is wearing like a collared shirt. Looks like, looks like he could be on a golf course with a collared yeah, shirt. Yeah, I, I saw that. And I'm like... That's not the grandpa I know. What happened to grandpa? I'm just saying. Yeah, you had a beer in your hand. I bet you are feeling great, Farmer Nick. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what he was doing, but he looked like he was having a good day. We'll just say that much, right? Oh, yeah. I thought it was kind of funny. What was it the other day, Sarge? Oh, Sarge had a uh, semi from your bunker, right? Yeah. In GTA. And we're trying to sell it, which you ended up getting blown up because people don't know how to use missiles. But the best besides the point. The point is we had like five helicopters in the air guarding Sarge as he was on his way to sell. Yeah, I had That's her support. That's pretty cool that. to watch. Which might be why he got blown up because we had too many, too many people firing missiles. But, you know, it was really and funny to, like, watch it from a distance. Cops, so was right near the trailer. And then Tom had, what did Tom have? A, a jet of some kind? Uh, he had the A-10. Oh, you're at a memorial and it's not, not a beer. Well, I'm sorry for it, Rick. My bad. It sure looked like a beer to me. Well, you were all, like, dressed up fancy-like, and I was like, this isn't Farmer Nick. Saying. It was weird. Throwing it out there, bro. But anyway. So chat Fortnite in a little while. Eight or eight thirty central. We're switching to Fortnite. Just saying. It's gonna be a good time. Even if you guys don't like Fortnite, I recommend you stick around. It's funny. We 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 yell. We hmm? try not to cuss too much tonight. It might happen. If it happens, it happens. But I'll try to we'll try not to. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Depending on the situation. Depends who's uh who's in, yeah. You're still there just poured. Okay, I'm sorry for him there. Alright. What was that looking at? Christmas lights? No. Farmer next to me a DM. Watch your profanity. Okay. Uh, Tomcat, thanks for the bits. Appreciate you. All right, it's better than a beer. We'll just say that much that Farmer Dick had in his hand earlier. Something a little stronger, maybe. <laughs> oh, goodness. Does it come from corn? Uh, I don't know, actually, what that comes from. I don't know. I'm not, not big on like, you know, high alcohols. I don't know. Don't know. By the way, chat, did you know you're on number, oh, number six. Hey, that's a good stopping point, Farmer Nick. You know that? Yeah, uh, one more, one six, more. Six is a good stopping point, okay? Okay, do one more. <laughs> Eight, make it even. Yeah. <laughs> Six is a good stopping point, okay? Almost there. Uh, but did you know, chat, that just a few minutes ago, probably, we, we hit 27,500 follows on Twitch? Pretty lit. Thanks. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, chat. That means 28's coming up. That's a lot. And then, like, 30's right there, you know? Never thought I'd have this many follows on Twitch, honestly. Kind of crazy, chat. Appreciate y'all being here. You're here for another hour, you could do a couple more. Yeah, make it eight. Farmer Nick, I hope you don't have to walk out of that place. <laughs> We're going to have to get you a scooter. <laughs> uh, walking cane. That yeah. way you can stand up. 
crew. Oh man. Well, alrighty. Alright, just about got the bales done. This is good. Get the pot done baling. Hopefully we have room for all this hay, which I'm assuming we do. But you never know, right? So far. Yeah. But if not, I think noise just piled up. Hey, Warrior, thank you. Appreciate it. Hour, hour. <laughs> Walking straight as an arrow. Okay. Is that his arrow or one of our arrows? An That's arrow looks cool. like a... Uh, Circle. Yeah, I was gonna say like a uh, like a coil spring or something. I don't know. New rifle in GTA is bad. I don't know, Vegas. Well, I haven't uh, purchased it yet. I haven't. I haven't been to an ammunition in GTA since the update. At least I don't think I have. No. I don't think I have. That's it. See if this works. Oh, that was clean. Real clean. Wow. Yep. Very much so. You're holding the building down. You don't like it? It's not, okay. Got your rocks. Got you. Like I said, I have not messed with it yet. Myself. Um. Got to hit all the buttons before I get the right one. There we go. All right. Unveil and hit the insta wash. We got chaffing to do tomorrow, chat, I do believe. Chaffing. Saying. Alright, Armor Nick. Did anybody else's chat just reload and welcome you to the chat room, or is it just me? Did it earlier for me. Yeah, it did oh. it earlier for me as well. Alright. Oh, it's weird Twitch. Yeah. All right. All righty. MW, hello and thank you. Alpha man. Holy cow, chat. Chat. There's a Phil. Phil. Hello. Hi, Phil. Hi, everybody. How are you? Good. Yeah? Yeah, everything's good. Putting work? <laughs> uh, work, work's getting it's still interesting <laughs> I think that's an off stream topic right <laughs> yeah oh yeah that's quite a loaded shed it is yes it really is we have a lot of equipment in that shed yes we sure do alright we're in a plow field chat because uh, well, this one's not showing bad tillage but the other one is on precision so we're just gonna we're just gonna do it kind of just to do it and we're gonna plow them together as well because why not and again you know the mighty two plus two will pull the world so i'll hail the mighty two plus two or something right something like that okay so phil you ready to catch a rocket tomorrow Rocket? Got that Chinese rocket that's coming down tomorrow. They sure you like to lose track of their rockets. Tiny Chinese rocket uh, 2.0. Coming back tomorrow. Ooh. There. Yeah. There are actually a couple of paths that bring it over like uh, United States anyway. In the potential time where it could come down. Yeah, there's two chances of it. Yeah. Which is kind of crazy if you think about it. One in like the south and one in the midwest. Yeah. 
Yep. Oh. Uh, Minecraft, thank you. Appreciate it. How's it going? Welcome. Back. And I didn't really want to make this build much bigger. Here we go. That'll work. Again, no GPS chat. Because I don't, I mean, I should use it, but I don't have to. I don't have to. Not all the time, anyway. Right. And it's not scanner stuff. Not good. Anyway, hopefully this fixes this field. And hopefully this fixes the fertilization on this field too. Because it's still messed up in my opinion. Maybe it's just my opinion. but I think it's still kind of goofy. Uh, to be honest. But hey, what do I know? What do I know? I have no idea, Rex. Don't know. I I don't understand. They keep what it is is they're launching sections of their uh, space station is what it is, and then somehow like, you know, a thirty story story building size rocket just like you know, maybe not thirty stories. That's kind of big, but you know what I mean. Like this huge piece of a rocket just like, oops, it's out of control. We don't have any control of it anymore. Uh, how does this keep happening? This is not the first time. It probably won't be the last time with China. So, like, come on. Like, Elon needs to go over there for a day and teach him how to fly rockets or something, you know? Take him how to land. Something. Or at least, you know, ditch it in the ocean, you know? So, yeah. Could be, rocks. I don't know. I just hope it, you know, hits out in the ocean and doesn't uh, take out any people or anything because it's, it's going to be a big enough thing where it could definitely do some damage. So hopefully it uh, hits out in the ocean somewhere and that's that. Yeah. All right. Plowing chat. Gotta love it. Especially with the Mighty T plus two. Somebody is sending me snaps. It makes my phone light blink. And it distracts me. A lot. That's okay. Dr. Phil, thank you. Appreciate it. Oh, I Have saw that. Have we done any fast timing without feeding the cows? Uh... To my knowledge, we have not fast time since uh, Thursday sometime. Like, okay. remember when we were feeding the cows and stuff? We ended the stream Thursday doing that. Okay. As far as I, I know. I wasn't sure if you jumped forward to do. Uh uh. Let's put it this way I didn't. <laughs> I haven't. Uh, Evans Rob, how's it going? Welcome in. How are you? Welcome in. Howdy, howdy. All right, we got flower create new field turned on. Let's just gonna add these two together because why not? We've been mowing them as one anyway. Might as well plow them together and be done with it. In my opinion. Oh, chat last night. Trent, you probably know what I'm talking about. Last night, I'm sitting out here in the garage. It's one almost two o'clock in the morning and all of a sudden i hear i hear this car absolutely just screech to a halt in front of my house oh yeah okay and i pull up my stick i grab my phone look at my camera and i see this car zooming away so i'm like okay whatever so i uh i i pulled up the the replay because that one camera 
it records 24-7 no matter what. Like, it has an SD card in it. It records 24-7. So I pull up the replay, and it's like this little Honda Civic or something. And it's zooming down my street, and all of a sudden just locks up all four and comes to a screech right in front of my house. Just stops right next to Dad's truck. And it sits there for like 10 seconds and then floors it and drives away. So I don't know if there was like an animal in the road, but like the video is great. The, the tire squeal is awesome. On I was going to say they slammed on those. They rigs. hit it hard. But I'm, I'm wondering if it was like an animal and they didn't want to hit it. So they just slammed on their brakes. I'm like, man, I'm glad they didn't lose control. Cause like dad, they were right next to dad's truck. It was kind of, kind of funny in a way. Like, what the heck is going on? Like, it was loud, too. It was super loud. But yeah. Can't hurt the Civic. Dude, Civics are like, they go forever. Just saying. Civics go forever. Yeah. My buddy bought a Civic once. Casey's brother bought it. Him and a buddy changed the transmission in their garage, like next door. That car had a head gasket put in it. We did all kinds of work to it. Um, I can't tell you how I did brakes like three or four times on it. Yeah, he delivered pizza with it. So he like abused that car. But yeah, it was, uh, it was something for sure. That car just kept on going. Didn't matter. That car was built. Was built tough. Or you know, Civic. Or something. Alright, so did this fix our tillage? No. Hopefully it will, eventually. Otherwise I don't know how to fix that uh the, the thing I think the what's gonna fix it is like you actually planting grass maybe left or like after we mow it, it might come around maybe I think it's after harvest usually yeah because if you think about it this field technically has not been worked this entire time because it was grass when we started I'm just waiting on you to finish pollen so I can buy soil for that new section oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get it done here in just a second even though this plow's big, it's kind of slow. Need to go like 20 miles an hour. I'm joking. Although when we plow 13, which by the way, chat, we've been talking about buying 13 and buying 13 and buying 13. Well, it's ours. Just saying. We'll purchase the soil uh, maps on it as well. And most likely that number's 38. My God. <laughs> Look at the lime. Oh. Jesus, take the wheel. Well, we have two. Hey. We have two auger wagons, right? <laughs> or multiple. Okay, four, technically. Might as well buy uh, another lime. Bucky. Look at the nitrogen. It is literally zero everywhere. Ah. Uh. That's probably a tomorrow job. That's with that field, but I was gonna say, did you wanna let's start liming it? I will. That it is grass. Yeah, but with zero nitrogen and lime, that's really messed up. Is it gonna be worth our time? I don't need to be plowed. But you know what I'm saying, Sarge. With lime <laughs> that's so far out of whack and and zero nitrogen, I don't know if it's worth the, the time to mow it. I mean, we can talk about it tomorrow, I guess. So, yeah. I didn't know. I bet we just plow it. And what your plans were for right now. I, was I know what gonna... you're working on. Yeah, I mean. I just don't know if it's going to be worth mowing. What's the, it's, it, does it give us that expected yield for grass? Is that a thing? Like in the little pop up at the bottom. I'll go over there and look at it in a minute. 
I'm a, I'm assuming the expected yield is gonna be like you know ten percent or something low. That nearby there, right here. Cause that is so bad. Oh, left. What? What is going on with that nitro? The pH on that grass area there. I don't know. Some of it's four, five, and some of it's eight, okay. eight seven, five. Expected yield eighty four percent. That's actually not bad. For as bad as that field looks to be eighty four percent expected yield. You know what we should do with that, actually. Bail it. Uh, mm. so, bail? Silage or put it into a silage bill or we could just put in actual silage for the bunker. Oh, windrow it and pick it up that way? Could That's, do that because we're about full on hay. That's actually not a bad idea. Ah, but thank you. Appreciate it. How are you? Welcome in. That's not a bad idea. Yeah, let's do that. The chat, we are going to mow 13. We're going to mow it and uh, put it into windrows. See. Not something we do a lot of, but we're going to pick it up with forge harvester. For, for grass. Or for chaff, basically. So, yeah. It'll be fun. Or something. We do have that big trailer now. That'll help. We can use that. Okay, there's one, sir. Right. Uh, can you start a multiplayer map? This is a multiplayer map. Doing okay. All right, as well. All right, so I'm just gonna leave this plow down here because uh, I'm gonna need it. I would say after we mow the grass, we go ahead and we plow it just for funsies. Get our tillage under control, and everything. All right. What do you have to do to join? So there are two things you can do to join us. Uh, one is become a good and active member of chat. You know, don't get banned. Don't get yourself marked as suspicious. You know, that kind of stuff. And then the other one would be uh, come in our team speak and get to know us outside of streaming, like after streams or before streams or stuff like that when we're just hanging out. That is a good way to... Uh, they get to know us outside of streaming. So, those are the two ways. Uh, we are always looking for more farmers, though. Because why not? We have equipment. We're always looking for more people to farm with. There, Sarge. Let me sneak in there and grab that and get it out of your way real quick. Let's that up. There's all the stuff you need in uh, in the chat, I believe. Uh, we do have a Discord, but as far as like actually talking, 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 like verbally, uh, we use TeamSpeak for that. Discord is more of a uh, like a message board for us, you know. Joe, you're not the first person in like the last two days to say that, by the way. <laughs> Poor Sand Camp, he can never join us because he's been banned. You're right. <laughs> Wait, Sarge, where are you going? I just getting things set up. Over here. You're at the wrong field, you know that, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I'll mow boundaries, you mow inside of them, okay? <laughs> <laughs> It might be hard for Sarge, though. Ah. For the record, chat, if Sarge sees one blade of grass that's too tall, he likes to mow. Which is fine. I mean, we need the grass. We can use it for silage, but... Old brother. Perfectionist. <laughs> I'm going to get you a proppy hopper, okay? 
Armor Nick, welcome back. Yep, we're gonna get a property hopper off of uh, 13 for you, Sarge. Okay. Remember that thing? So much fun. All right. You've probably got GPS set for south, if I had to guess. South, yep. All right. Well, actually, I kind of think our lines might be the same. North, south, or east, west, if you rotate. I think it is. Because technically, if you stand in the same place and you do it, it should line up. Just so. Does that work on this tractor? Actually, I don't even know. It does. But not set up correctly. All right. We want to be swapping. There we go. Do we go in rower? I don't think we have one. Normally we don't use it, but if we want to for this, we can. Fine. Okay. Wind rower. Or rake up here. Yeah. Jackson, thank you. Welcome in. How are you? How about this uh, actor? How fast do you mow, Sarge? You go faster than eight, right? How do you join TeamSpeak? First, you would download TeamSpeak from their website, and then um, information's in chat from the from the bot. Basically, it's just like a server address and a password. Yeah. Uh, Smitty, thank you. Welcome in. How are you? Busy day today. Those are always good, right? I am mowing at 13. Yeah, I was going eight up that hill. I haven't started up the hill yet. Okay. Well, I had a fence sitting there, but it... Oh, I took it back to the base. It disappeared. So. Yeah. Well, I didn't expect we when we mowed 13 either. So. Yeah, I didn't I didn't plan on this today, honestly. Yeah, okay. the hill's kind of knocking me down a little bit. Okay. At least, as long as we're both struggling, that's fine. We need to uh, smooth this edge of the field out before we, uh, like, plow it out. Just for the record. Uh, Smitty, I'm doing okay today. I'm doing okay. I wouldn't say great. I wouldn't say terrible. I'm doing all right. No? Yeah, we definitely need some landscape tool up here before we, uh... Yeah. This hill's got some, or this field's got some weird, uh, some weird stuff to it. Oh, yeah. But that's okay. Love the control I features. I wish they would work on all tractors. Unfortunately, they don't chat. Hello, leg. My old friend, how are you? Haven't seen you since yesterday. That was really bad yesterday, Chad. Very, very bad yesterday. J10 underscore 50 cheered X500. Happy birthday, John. Hoping you have a great stream tonight and tomorrow. Justin, thanks for the bits, bro. I appreciate them. I will always have great streams. So at least that's hope, right? <laughs> That's the hope, my gang. Appreciate the best man. Welcome in. How are you? Is it drying out over there yet? Uh, thanks for the follow. Appreciate you. And Trey, what's up, man? How are you? Welcome in. Very dry. Oh, hey, it's Carson. I'm Carson. Is, you know why I'm here. I know why you're here. You're an hour early. No. Did you go mess with the thing I sent you today? You know what? I forgot. Packer. I was going to, and then I for, I kind of wanted. Yeah, we'll do. I mess with it later. Yeah. Trey, you're doing good. Ready to have a weekend off? Nice, man. And big plans for your <laughs> weekend off? J10 
Joe, you might have to get on. <laughs> Joe, you would be welcome in on, in on the farm, man. Just saying. You've been around chat long enough. Uh, you Have you been timed out or banned? I don't know. Because that's why Sam camps out. You have not been timed out or banned, Joe. So you're good. <laughs> Just saying. Your ping might be a little high. You know, you're kind of kind of far away. But yeah. Just relaxing and hanging with friends and family. That's Those are the best plans. Just saying. Starting to, not to leave. Yeah, I, I saw a video of the zoo parking lot. Yeah, it was definitely underwater. I don't know how the rest of the city is. I haven't really watched any news or anything. Yeah. You have the panel for merch, but you can't download it. What? I don't know. You'll have to ask Carson when he gets back. How about that? I'm not sure what you're on, what you're on about. But yeah, luckily no rain today and like things were, you know, able to drain a little bit, you know. Yeah. Right here, it's grass is all crunchy. I've seen TikToks of people. There was this lady, she had like, I guess she was living in a basement of a house or something, but there were like stairs coming down. And she's like, yeah. And I looked a minute ago, you could still see that step and it was under like three inches of water already. And it's like, oh no. Oh no. And like by the time her 30 second video ended, like it was, it was bad. Yeah. Rox, you better be careful, man. You better be careful. Uh, sorry for the record. This side of the field is not square. Okay. <laughs> Just so you know, it's not, yeah, it's not square at all. Cause like you'll notice I'm, I'm leaving. I'm and we're running straight. So. Yeah, I'm leaving a bigger pass as I go here. Okay. Oh, there's a shed over here. I that's right. Remember that from 13. Look at that. Good old shed. Store some uh, equipment there. Here or something. Where's that equipment we need? Yeah, it's over at 13. Okay. I'll probably turn... Or eventually, we'll mow one more pass here. Just uh, to get it all. We we own all of it. So. Not a big deal. Oh goodness. You waited to type that. Rox, you know he can scroll up, right? <laughs> like, you know that, right? <laughs> That Twitch works. You can scroll up and read chat that you missed. But all right. Plus he has stews, pull the logs. Or he can pull a log too, yeah. He can do that as well. That's okay. Yeah, I definitely need a couple. <laughs> wow, rocks. I uh, definitely need a couple dry days around these parts. It would be nice. Although, you know, a week ago, I was like, man, we really need some rain. Crazy how a week can uh, change your uh, change your attitude, you know? Be careful what you ask for. Yeah. I'm actually interested to see, like, how does this July stack up? You know, as far as, like, was it a wet July? It had to have been a wet July. Although it was super dry, but, you know, it doesn't. You know, you get 13 inches of rain or 12 inches of rain, whatever it ended up being. And, uh, yeah, that changes, changes your month really fast. So kind of interesting to see like where it stacks up to a normal drought July. All right, Sarge, you're coming across. All right. Kind of want like, what, three in rows maybe? I'm gonna do four. I don't mind um, having more room. Two, I feel like, isn't enough. It was a little tight. Yeah. Maybe that's because I was using the 1050 earlier to mow. I don't know. I'm back across. All right. 
Keep all mowing. Mowing, mowing, mowing. All, the, all we do is mow chat. I don't mean it. We do. A, we have been doing a lot of mowing. Of course, when you have 800 cows, you're going to do a lot of mowing. That's just kind of the way it is. So, yeah. Not really a big deal. So this is not going to be super high producing, obviously. Uh, we did just purchase this field for those of you that weren't here. And the, the lime, the pH is awful. And the nitrogen is literally zero. But our expected yield, I think, would you say it was 80%? Uh, what a little bit I seen, yes. 101 right here where I'm at, Sarge. Oh, nice. So expected yield still uh, like okay. So we might as well might as well mow it. Yeah. There's gonna be a lot of this field that's hundred percent, so that's not bad. Not bad at all. And to think we were gonna plow it under. So we're actually gonna be picking this up with Forge Harvester. Uh for making uh silage out of it. Is what we're gonna do because we have corn planted um that we were gonna chop but we have this one might as well use this too and there it is rocks that's why you don't talk about here you go <laughs> i'm not coming a mile away <laughs> hey you're not the only one oh more landscape oh there's just a big hole here in this Look at this. Is that where the Chinese rocket landing? Yo, this is my, like, foxhole. I can hide in here and, like, have, you know, compute wars with people. Wow. Have a tea party down there. Bro. We used to have... I know this is really dumb. Chat, don't do this. I don't recommend it. But when we were kids, we used to have... Um, we used to have laser pointer wars with the, with the kids up the street. Which is, like, really dumb. Because, like, we could have blinded each other. But, like... You know, it was, it was in the fall and we had those like yard bags that look like pumpkins, but you fill them with leaves and their decoration. Right. And we would put those along like the one property line of my like yard. And then we would, uh, shoot the laser pointer at the neighbor kids. It was the kids we didn't like up the street. So that that's how we justified it. Nice. Really? We don't like them. They're kind of rude. So laser pointer them, right? Hey, makes sense. Got to do what you got to do. No, not at all. Not at all. But those were those were the days. Those were the days. Boy, the hill is going to kill us, Sarge. Six miles an hour. I need some kind of toe behind. Two plus two. More. I need some kind of toe behind more that would mow everything. I know, so I could put it behind my two plus two, yeah. That's what I need, chat. Yeah. That is what I need. Okay, Carson and I thought you could help, but I do, don't worry. M-Dog, I'm having a decent day. Thank you. Appreciate it. How's it going? It's a decent day. I had me some chicken nuggets for lunch, so therefore, good day there, you know. That was a W. Okay, I don't want to mow this right here. Pick up the morse. There we go. And then uh, I kind of didn't, I, I kind of knew it was going to happen, kind of didn't. Dad brought home a uh, really, really good St. Louis style pizza for dinner. I had a little bit of that before stream. I'll have well, more that. after. I only had like two pieces, three pieces maybe. And they're cut in like little squares, so it's not. If you say like three pieces, it's like half of a regular slice of pizza. Let's put it that way. Uh -huh. Yeah, because A, it's super thin. And then the way they cut it. It is what it is, you know? But it was good. 
a 50 meter boar. I don't know about that. It's just something that trails behind that would mow everything would be really slick. I don't know if that's out there. It'd be really cool if it was. As, as you get what a St. Louis pizza is. Uh, basically, a St. Louis pizza is like almost like a cracker. Like it's super thin and kind of crispy, the crust. And then uh, Provel cheese. You might need to Google Provel cheese because most people don't know what it is. Uh, but it's a really good cheese that's kind of, I don't know, it's just really good. So. Best width in the mud hub is 6.2. Yeah, no thank you. That's too small. Yeah, that's a St. Louis pizza. Really, really thin, and then they cut it in squares. So. And it is absolutely delicious with that Provel cheese on there. Uh, the, the famous St. Louis brand name is Emo's. Um, that's not one that we get we get like a local chain kind of it's yeah you can't figure out how to join this Carson I think he's talking team speak I think maybe team speak not sure but yeah St. Louis pizza is really really good kind of like our toasted ravioli not everybody knows about that either so yeah Squares, what kind of heresy is that? Real thing. <laughs> the John Deere Batwing more. I have not, but I don't think that's big enough for what I want. 